my SLG collection. Over on Instagram a while ago, I was sharing a reel updating you guys with my newest wallet from Louis Vuitton. And someone said to me in the comment section that they would love to see my SLG collection. Here we are. That's why I'm going to be sharing with you my SLG collection. It's very important to note that if you're not following me on Instagram, you're not being updated on my life daily. So I suggest you go and follow me over there. Let's get started. So SLGs or small leather goods could be your entryway into luxury. They are priced more reasonably in certain brands, of course, and they are mostly very hard wearing, intricate and last long. And you can find them on the secondhand market for a really good bargain and price. They could also be a great gift someone could gift you if they cannot afford to gift you something like a bag or something expensive. So I'm actually going to start with the oldest item I've ever bought to the newest. And yeah, let's get started. The first item I ever bought was this card holder from Louis Vuitton. This one is discontinued. They do not create it anymore. But as you can see, it's extremely slim and it opens like this into these holder thingies. Uh, as you can see and actually I did a reel about this a while ago after I've done a professional color analysis I got my colors with me always in this so that when I'm shopping and by the way if you're wondering I'm a true autumn um, shock right but uh, those are my color palette and whenever I go shopping I just match the colors to the colors I see in stores to buy things that actually look good on me so that was the first one. It's discontinued, but you can find it in the secondhand market in the card holder section. I got this from Vistier Collective where I love to shop for secondhand. I'm planning to make a video on secondhand shopping tips and tricks and where do I shop from? I hope that helps you. But for now, the site, I'm going to link it down below. The second item I bought, I no longer use. That's because I basically got an iPad, but I keep it because I know at a point I'll get back to it. And it was also a special edition. It is the agenda in the smallest size from Louis Vuitton. And that was a limited edition. This was something very popular in the 2000s and 90s. And it was done by a designer. And what he did was he he's a very well-known designer and he has always very colorful floral designs. And since then, actually, they have had a twist on a lot of things in this multicolor. They had one with a white background, one with black background. But what I love about this is these rivets on the sides of the uh, agenda. And I don't get the fills that are from Louis Vuitton, like the agenda fillers. I get regular ones from like the office supply store here. I also added this one to add my pen because the one that they have really cannot fit most pens, but this fits beautifully my Swarovski pen when I had it with me. I will probably get back to using this because now I am working from an office and having this over with me for work would be great because I use my iPad mini to note things for my personal life. Uh, this is also from secondhand market. You can get the regular ones in monogram from the site uh, of Louis Vuitton or from the store. But in general, if you want the same exact model like the one I have, you're going to find a lot of it on eBay. Okay, we're all in the beginning of my purchase history. So they are all things that are purchased secondhand. Um, I'm going to lead with things that I bought new recently, but I have been dying to buy a Louis Vuitton wallet uh, in canvas that was in the history after I've tried the card holder because basically the card holder was very hard wearing and I used it for my cards and then I thought I can expand into a wallet. I saw the wallet on a channel here over YouTube, Chase Amy, I'm not sure if you follow her, and she was talking about the Victorine wallet and she has it in uh, the Emponet, I think version, and also the EP leather. And she was talking loads about how compact it is and good it is. So I looked everywhere. It was a thought after, so it was very expensive for me at that, so at that time. And I found one, which is a great tip, that had 
embossed initials on so i thought okay embossed initials got it much cheaper than it is so i will buy it and i will try to find a way to remove the embossing i think a lot of people sell their items after embossing look at this you guys i got it in the monogram canvas and the pink rose or rose ballerine is the name interior it's lovely so nice and it came in a pristine condition i used this to death and it's still in a great condition um i have a sales associate that helps me in louis vuitton he on his own told me that we will update for you the button here he also gave me an option between the gold and he gave me a gold one and he also replaced it with another pink one and the initials initially were here very visible i removed them i found a video on youtube and removed them with unscented lotion and a, a q-tip or e earbud earbud cotton swabs ear cotton swabs whatever I removed it and it got removed. I then had my initial. I have actually my initial also on the agenda. Very small A uh, over here. I'm not sure if you can see that. But this was my favorite wallet for super long. Until I updated it recently because I wanted even a smaller wallet. Which we're going to talk about. And this was actually the real I. I shared but this is a great tip whenever you want to buy something secondhand uh, and get it super cheap get things that have initials on them because they are much cheaper and find a way to hide the initial or work around it somehow that ended the era of secondhand in the small leather goods for a while my first purchase of small leather good from the store was this this is the Hermes pouch in an origami manner it's very interestingly designed i love it it looks horribly damaged i'll tell you the bad story after i got this with like a couple of weeks perfume exploded in my bag and it completely stained leather which is why i love louis vuitton canvas louis vuitton canvas is basically coated canvas fabric it's very hard wearing i don't baby it and it stays looking great and it's easy to clean versus anything leather that's why you will not find a lot of leather small leather goods with me because i'm always so scared you can ruin it with lotion you can ruin it with a ton of things and i don't want to always feel conscious when i am using this it's supposed to be a small other good that you're always grabbing with your hands to pay stuff to put money that is dirty in it so i'm always that's why i'm always picking canvas over my leather but this pouch is amazing it's supposed to be a coin pouch but i use it can use it for tons of things i use it for putting my foldable ray-bans because it is exactly the size but as you can see this actually is designed here this pouch here to have your coins falling into here and look into the coins and pick the coin you want it's a great coin uh, pouch i'm gonna also link it for you it comes in various colors i got it in the two colored tone it also comes in in one color it's very compact i like compact stuff i think you can tell because i find it to be the best design and also it can fit in smaller bags which i like to carry my second purchase and actually it was two things i purchased at once it was louis vuitton key pouches this one i bought it for it to become a pouch where i keep stuff i actually um it's supposed to be for your cards and it's supposed to be very compact i enlarged it by placing a lot of things in it and I mean, this is how I like to use it. Sometimes I put in here a tweezer, a small nail file, small lotion, very, very tiny stuff. It can fit, uh, but you need to enlarge it. As I said a little bit by putting things in it and keeping it for a while, it will enlarge it. Uh, but try to keep the shape of it so that it doesn't look like blah, so <laughs> thick. And you actually attach your keys to this thing. I don't attach the keys to that. But I always use this pouch and attach it in the bag inside. And sometimes I attach it outside of my bags. I'm going to tell you 
when I do that. And the second was my key holder. I used to have this filled. I stopped because it was too bulky sometimes to take in certain bags alongside my wallet. It was just too much. But I think I'll get back to this since I'm now going to office having a big bag. It's very hard to find my keys. This is beautifully hard wearing and I bought it in canvas inside that's real leather. I chose the red because I was scared to uh, ruin this with my fingers if it is like the pink ballerine. So I uh, decided to go with the red. Also, they say red brings luck. So moving on my first Chanel purchase that is not a shoes was a the one and only Chanel wallet on chain. Definitely I got this secondhand so it was already enlarged and I you can it is it, it is a wallet. A lot of brands offer wallet on chains for people to have as a small clutch that you can hold on a chain. It is typically a wallet inside. It has also this the zipper over here, this pouch over here, this zipper that goes all the way for the back and you can actually put paper in here and at the back it has this pouch this is beautiful you guys i traveled a lot with it it has a very long handle that you can wear long like this or you could do this crisscross inside and wear it shorter you also have the option to have it doubled up like that and wear it like this and what I do is I bought this from AliExpress just to keep it having a form and to enlarge it. Uh, definitely, if you buy it new, it's not as easy to enlarge. If it's secondhand, the leather somehow is softer. That's why it was very cheap because the leather was very soft. I have did a video. I've, I have done a video uh, refurbishing uh, this. If you didn't watch it, watch it. I will put it in the cards. But this wallet on chain is amazing. And if you want to start collecting um, luxury bags, start with wallet on chains. They are not cheap as wallets, but they could give you a quick look. And this is also very discreet, very old money inspired. Mine, unfortunately, right now doesn't clip. This clip is kaput, not working. I am going to take it for Chanel to repair it for me. But until then, it's one of my favorites. And actually, that's where this comes in handy. Sometimes while traveling, I would wear this and I would attach this one to it from the outside from here. And I will have it like that. It's not beautifully looking, but that's not the purpose. The purpose was for me to wear this when I'm traveling. It's very easy to wear traveling if you're not carrying a lot of stuff. And if you're wondering what it can fit, it can fit my keychain easily. This thing can also fit easily. My glasses can fit in here easily. It is, I love it. Last but not least, my newest edition, the reason why I have this video, <laughs> it is the Vitrine wallet in small. I don't remember the name, but I'm going to be putting it on the screen. This is a smaller version for comparison purposes. I'm going to compare it to my Vitrine wallet so that you can get it. And also I made this comparison on my reels on Instagram, but let me do it again. You can see the difference. It's I know not very substantial for some, but for me, it's like a mini version of this Soup, smaller. <laughs> and also I bought it in red. The top part is leather, which was so scary for me, but you have here at the back, a card holder, a zipper for the coins. You have like four card slots and the main compartment for the money. It's pretty compact and pretty to the point. I actually love, love, love it even more than the regular Vitrine wallet. It, you cannot squish in it as much as you squish in it here 
but at the same time it looks super elegant super cute and fits all my bags seamlessly if you take a look on the wallet on chain if i put this in it i still have space to put other stuff which is amazing that's why i love it so much so that's it you guys this is my small leather good um collection i'm so happy i'm sharing it with you all let me know in the comment section down below if you would love to purchase one of these which one would it be and if you own already one of those which one is it i'll see you in my next video have a nice day booze and see you next week bye bye